Wix email subscriber form tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Wix's subscribe form. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So first things first, you want to come over to Wix.com and you want to sign up. And once you've signed up, you're going to be greeted with this home page here is going to be all of your sites now for you if you created a new account you won't have any of this you'll directly be able to create your own site so since i'm already here i'm going to go ahead and create a new website so come over here and click on create new website for you you'll already be on that page where i'm about to go so we'll just fast forward it to there now over here you want to you know add a subscriber form to your website it can be a newsletter email or a blog or whatever so let's just go with blog i mean any blogs you know we'll say coming soon blog click on next and now you have two options in front of you you have the adi create a website for you or you can create your own website with the editor now what adi means is that wix's own artificial intelligence software is going to detect you is going to ask you some questions and then determine which website is going to be best for you depending upon what answers you give it so it's going to be quite simple if you are just looking for a website that you want you don't want anything fancy nor editing or anything like that you just want to get to business you don't want to do anything else then this option is perfect for you but if you want to play around with it and you know add some things and stuff like that then i guess you would have to edit a template so i'm going to go ahead and edit a template this way you'll know everything that how you basically you know add it so over here as you can see we have quite a lot of different websites so some of these websites already have a subscriber form so we don't need to add that but i'm still gonna add them just in case so i think this website looks pretty nice let's go ahead and click on view and click on view full demo to see what type of website it is and how it looks like and over here as you can see it is a pretty simple and minimalistic looking website i think it is perfect so let's go ahead and click on edit this website now we're gonna wait for a couple of seconds for the website template to be loaded give it a few seconds because sometimes it'll take some time to load all of the integrations and you know back end coding and front end coding and stuff like that so be a little bit patient so you don't worry about you know closing your chrome okay so now that it has you know loaded all of the tools are loaded as well now we can go ahead and get to business okay so first things first as you can see the editor tool it's very simple all you have to do is just move it around and it will detect which button that you're at so over here as you can see this is the header it already detects it that it's a header this is the main page and this is the button and this is the text and stuff like that so now what we can do is we can get rid of this button as you can see we just press the delete button and we just go in and now we can edit this text as well if you want to do whatever you want to i'm just going to move this text up a little bit just to you know give us a little bit of more room to add that text that we want to so we'll just put this over here as well and now we have this social bar we'll just move it for now over here you know keep it at the side so we have an open space over here for our page now what we want to do is we want to come over here on the left side over here we have a couple of different tools so we have add button menus and pages site design add apps media start blogging and ascend business tools what we need to do is we need to click on this add button over here and once we do that it's going to give us tons of different options to choose from whichever one we want we need to add a social and subscriber button if we want to add buttons boxes interactives decoratives anything that we want we can go ahead and add it from here so to add a subscriber form it's going to be in the contact and form button over here in the contact and form section over here and over here as you can see we have quite a lot of different things so depending upon what type of website you have you can choose which one you want which one would look good and stuff like that so these are pages and stuff like that so over here as you can see as i scroll up these forms you know change as well so as you can see this is the subscribe form down below okay this is the google maps we don't need that we need the subscriber button so here are the subscriber buttons down below I think this one is it but we can choose others as well we don't need something that small we can contact us form we can change that to subscribe form and stuff like that we can also check out others as well maybe like you know check them out maybe we'll find a perfect design somewhere else in events no booking no stores maybe if we search over here click on the search button and we can search for it as well let's search for subscribe over here we have subscribe forms let's go ahead and click on that so we're just popped over here as well these four buttons are it so we need to choose it from this so i think since our website is you know minimalistic i think that this one would look pretty nice let's go ahead and click on it and just bring it over here okay so now that we have it over here what we can do next is we can change the uh you know color of it 
so just simply click on it and we can change quite a lot of things we can change the design the animation the layout as well we can add new fields and form settings as well like we can change the text as well so if i click over here in this text we can edit this text and we can get text ideas as well so click on get text ideas what we can do is we'll just simply enter in what type of site is it? this is a blog type of you know site so we'll just say blog and now when we do that over here here are some quotes that we can use so we have welcome extended about and quote as well so what's the topic of this text so we'll just say that it's a welcome text and we can click on create and it'll generate some sort of text or sentences for us now you can go ahead and choose that but i don't think we like it so we'll just go ahead and go with our own idea we'll just change the text I think join our mailing list is pretty cool, but I think we'll just change it to subscribe to get notified. I think that looks pretty nice for me anyway. We'll just change it. So yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Now what we can do is let me just, you know, capitalize the first letters of this sentence of each letter. So now it looks pretty good. Now we can go ahead and change the font as well. So we can make it bold, but I don't think that making it bold would look good. Let's go ahead and change the font. So over here we have quite a lot of different fonts. So what about Helvetica? helvetica looks good but it's too bold we could use something less dramatic such as this one over here can it okay now the overall theme of our website is this type of you know font so it looks out of place so i think even though it looks good but we should change it back let's see what font this text use so it's a playfair display so let's go ahead and choose that over here click on edit text no thank you why is not popping up so here we go so it was play field so if i like over here play fair display bold play fair display i think play fair bold would be nice over here yes i think it looks pretty good we can go ahead and add that now we'll go ahead and change this button as well we'll change the design of it a little bit you know make it like this or something else we'll go with this one but it looks pretty bland we'll go with this one okay yeah i think that looks pretty good now we can go ahead and change it up a little bit you know change the shadows how about this one it looks like it's peeling off this one looks like it's popping i think that this one looks pretty nice actually yeah so we'll keep it that and then we can change the borders and corners of it as well everything looks good we, even the text looks nice okay so everything looks good now we can go ahead and cancel that so as we can see over here we have the subscriber form now we can go ahead and change the background of it as well let me just go ahead and change that click on design customize this design form background okay we'll add some shadow okay form background fill color and opacity let's change the opacity to you know, something else we'll keep it gray not too gray not too black we'll keep it gray something like this and we'll change the text color so over here let me just go ahead and change the text colors real quick keep it white let me just go ahead and edit the field as well change it up a little bit change the design here as you can see customize the design we can change the color we'll keep it white okay or we can change it to something you know a little bit blending in with our website something gray we'll keep it gray and then we can go ahead and change the overall enter text over here email as well we can go ahead and change that i don't think we can change the color of that i wish we could would have been pretty nice let me just go ahead and change the layout actually or change the design i don't see anything else but it uh, looks pretty good. Now let me go ahead and edit this text over here. Let me just change the color. We'll just say something like this. Thank you for subscribing. Something that pops. Not too much. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty nice. So we'll just keep it at that. Close it up a little bit. Okay, so now it looks good. Now we can go ahead and change this one as well. Change the form settings. And now we can go ahead and change the color of this email. The text that's written. Let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I have changed the color as well. So the field color is also changed. Nice. That star is still black. I wonder why that's still black. Let me just go ahead and see what that is. I'll keep this white as well, just in case. And this one as well. Okay, so I think now that's done. 
now they're all white everything looks good now what we can do is we can actually implement the settings we'll go to form settings over here we'll get subscribers okay so we can manage our subscribers over here we can view the submissions table over here we have settings submit messages we have payment conditions and stuff like that so what we can do is we can click on manage subscribers and over here we can view contacts we can get started and we can create an email address for our subscribers that you know subscribe to us and then we can add a settings over here we can email notifications whenever someone subscribes to our blog we'll get notified from each submission we'll get a submission table view all submissions in one place and we can view submission limit we can add autofill form as well subscribe double opt-in and we can get a submit message over here whenever you know someone subscribe over here they'll get this message over here thanks for subscribing we can go ahead and change that as well we can change that to anything we want but for now i think this is more appropriate as well we can set time and obey as well how long should the message show after submission we can set a time or we can let it stay for always i think time is best for like eight seconds it's quite enough then we can even add payments conditions and the contacts and automations and many many more so that is how you basically add a submission form into a wix website so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.